Welcome to Sailing Vessel Seeker. We live in an age where there is a cell phone app for everything. So why not a fish finder? Fish are easy to find. You just gotta see them. They'll come right to you. <laughs> this is sonar phone. Apparently you put the transducer on the back of the boat, the app on your phone, and you get a sonar. We're gonna install that on the tender, the whaley back here, the hot tamale. And the one I was thinking about putting on here would require a console. But that would have to be stored in a side box then taken out and mounted. But if you already carry your cell phone around, why not? So let's give it a try. Two screws, that'll be easy enough. Wow, you, you could have a big boat, okay? That reaches to your battery, I suppose. Oh, goes to this gadget. All right, I love this company. There are no real instructions for how to put it together. That is fantastic. They don't assume you're a moron. That will mount near the battery. There's the battery hookups. There's the splice into this gadget. Yep, that's how it goes together. And you need to screw that onto the transom. Thank you for the respect. I appreciate it. If you absolutely have to have one, it's digital. Sonar phone owner's manual. And they make three of these. This is the one I have. It attaches the transducer to the transom. This one just has a suction cup to attach it. And this one floats in the water, so that's really just for fishing. But if you had a, a small dinghy or two of them and wanted to move it around, that might be your best option. I can see the permanently mounted one getting torn off if you have to move your dinghy out of the water or you know, over the railing onto the deck and back out. So the suction cut might work best in that case. This is the part I want to see. The transducer mounts just below the bottom of the boat and it can be at a 10 degree uh, dead rise angle on it before they want you to level it out. Probably put it a little bit lower. So this should be in clean water. And the mount itself gives you plenty of room for adjusting it. Okay, most challenging thing here is gonna be doing this over the water. Now I could just drill holes into the hull and put some 4200 caulking in there to seal it up, but I'd rather have a bracket and that way I don't have to... You know, it's putting holes in the hull. I just don't like doing that. That boat's just too new for that. There's a bar here that this mounts to, so this will mount right there. That sure came up fast, but looks like we're just gonna catch the bottom edge of it. Okay, I take that back. We're gonna get hit pretty good. Okay. And here comes the rain. Oh yeah. Tell you what, this is the weather that just makes you love a pilot house. Out of the weather, but you can see the full horizon. All done, back to work. Time to drill some holes. <sighs> okay. I think that's gonna be in clean water. Hopefully it'll do. And it's nice to test this engine before we start heading down the river. Like that. Try and keep the wire out of tangles. Now there's an on off and a reset button on this little box. So you gotta mount it someplace where you'll be able to get to those. The connector had a screw loose. You might check yours when you get it. Okay, power is connected. give her a test they give you this you can wear it on your arm put your phone inside I think it'd be handy for fishing turn it on get a light all right sonar phone oh so you got to go into your uh, settings Wi-Fi and look at that sonar phone connecting good got it go back to the app connect now Enter the master password. Oh, default. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, good for them. Start. Setup successful. 
Look at that. Yeah, allow while using the app. Yeah, it says I'm sitting in uh, 15 feet of water, and yeah, I agree with that. Lay it on its side or stand it up. Works either way. Now, this is dependent upon your phone, but I can still read that. 15.6, 15.7, 16, 17, 23. There's a drop. 24. Yeah, 25. Yeah, it's doing great. 32 feet. Yeah, 33, 34. So it's not silted in much. Nice drop off there. The Navionics says we're in 37 feet. 35 feet, so they're pretty dang close. I mean, I trust the sonar, I think, more than I do Navionics, but yeah, right out in the middle of it. Now this is the feature I really like. It's got a depth alarm. You can set it at whatever depth you want, and then it'll let you know that it's shallower than that. So I can use this for scouting an area easily. Don't even have to look at it, just listen. I got it up to 15 miles an hour, but it's working fine. Now you can have fancier electronics here too. You just go to setting and you pick the sonar phone. Then instead of using the application for a sonar phone, if you have Navionics, use that. And Navionics, look there, will split screen and put your sonar on it. You can have full screen on Navionics. And if you want back, just hit the depth up there because it's giving you the depth now. And it will go back to a split screen. So now you can see where you are and what the bottom profile looks like. I'm happy with it, it'd be fantastic. So what I'm gonna do with it is I'm going to use it to scout out inlets where we might anchor the boat. And that way, maybe I won't run up on a rock wall like I did up in Fort Smith. So a good investment for me, certainly, maybe one for you too. There's a link to it on Amazon. And if you buy off that link, I appreciate it because that's our affiliate.